Corporate is rolling out Microsoft Copilot licenses and you don't even know where to start. What is this tool? How do I even log on? And what can I do with this tool? I'm David Fortin at Microsoft MVP and I taught Copilot to more than 500 professionals in person live training in the past six months. And I'm here today to help you get started with Copilot. So first thing first, let's log into the tool. So it's pretty easy. You open a web browser, you can either use Edge, Chrome, whatever you, you want. And you go to copilot.microsoft.com and then I'm already logged in on my computer and you should have something that looks like this, okay? So basically it's just like a Microsoft Teams chat and you, you can write things at the bottom right here, okay? So we call it a, an artificial intelligence chatbot and uh, basically this is how it should look like. If you go to copilot.microsoft.com and it looks like this, you have this user interface, it means that you are actually looking at the individual's version, uh, so which is similar to ChatGPT if you know this tool. But today we'll talk about the business version of Microsoft Copilot. So uh, this is uh, how it should be looking right now. So uh, first thing first, let's ask a question to the tool here. I'm just going to ask a question. I'm going to say, could you help me draft an email to my boss? Oh, sorry, you don't see here. There you go. To my boss to tell him that I am overloaded this week and that my workload is too much. I won't be able to do just that this week, right? So basically, as you can see, I'm just putting a little bit of context here and this could do the job, right? I will just hit enter. And as you can see, artificial intelligence is just drafting an email for me, okay? So it just got way easier to actually draft emails and all that kind of stuff that we're gonna see in this video. But I think one thing that is really important is that you learn how to talk to this chatbot. Because yes, there is a, a way to talk to this tool and actually get the best results here. So uh, we have a prompt. And I said, could you help me draft an email to my boss? But the tool here, the artificial intelligence tool, intelligence tool, it cannot guess who you are. So how about we do this a little bit better here? We're going to, to say the following. I am an administrative assistant working at a technology firm. I need your help to tell my boss that I am overloaded this week because we have the annual strategic budget presentation on Tuesday. Can you tell him, I was about to say something really wrong here. <laughs> Can you tell him that I am very busy <laughs> and that I won't be able to complete the, what did our boss ask us? Didn't able to complete the, um, the strategy makeover for the next five years. Okay. So we are completely inventing some stuff here and here we go. Okay. Uh, Copilot actually added a lot of context to my email here. So it's really important to add context when you do a prompt. So when we ask a question here, we call this a prompt. And this is very important to get the best results. And as you can see, the chatbot took into account what we said with tasks this week due to the annual strategic budget presentation on Tuesday, which I also told the copilot, the chatbot, right? So that was first thing first, I wanted to tell you, I have a lot of videos on my channel that taught, tell you, teach you, I can't talk to you guys, I'm sorry, that teach you how to prompt. It is really important to get the best results. And again, if you don't have the great results, first thing first, make sure your prompt is actually optimized. Another thing I want to show you here is if you don't have these two tabs at the top, it means you don't have a copilot license. Your copilot might just look like you're, what you're watching right now, but uh, it doesn't have two tabs, right? So these tabs are just non-existent. It means that you don't have a, a paid license. And what's really cool here with the work button is that when you pay for a license, you can actually uh, make some research through your files, your email, and your organization documents. So what you can do here, you can say, can you analyze which documents, spreadsheets, contains the word sales in my uh, SharePoint or OneDrive. 
and list them here with a small brief of what they contain, right? So Copilot will have a look in all of my documents that are on my, share, my SharePoint or one or OneDrive. I can't talk today, I'm sorry. And here you go, it gave me all of these uh, files right here. So it's like a mini Google internally. And if I click on one of these, it's actually gonna bring up and open the Excel file. It's so, so cool, right? It's so amazing. You don't actually have to go through your documents anymore. You have a mini Google internally, right? And one thing that you can do with Copilot, it is so amazing. I will show you here. What I did lately is I went in, in one of my video, I went uh, to Copilot and I asked Copilot to analyze a PDF, okay? And I went to the website of Starbucks and I will put this video somewhere on the screen so you can watch the whole thing. And I went to uh, starbucks.com, so you know the coffees, and I asked Copilot to compare two PDFs and highlight five main differences between the two PDFs, the financial statements of Starbucks, okay? And as you can see here, I'm not showing it uh, all along, you can go watch the video, but it actually analyzed those PDFs that were more than 100 pages long and uh, actually gave me, as you can see, the difference between the 2023 and 2022. So super, super cool. And even further, I asked Copilot to make charts about my uh, financial statement that I found online and super, super nice. As you can see, uh, uh, revenue growth with the charts and everything. So this is one thing you can do, okay? So, uh, so far I taught you how to uh, go to Copilot, so copilot.microsoft.com. You can also download the app, as you can see at the bottom in my screen, I have an app when you open it, it's exactly the same thing. And just a bonus tip for you guys, you can download the app on your, here you go, cell phone, okay? So uh, go to the App Store if you have an Apple, if you have an Android, I don't know where to go, uh, but be careful, okay? I will show you, you have two apps. You have this one here, that looks like that. This is the individual, I can probably point. This is the individual's version. So this is not for business intention, but then you have the other one right here with the little M365, it's right here. Oop. A little M365 that actually just looks like on my screen. And when you click, it is exactly the same as the app on your computer. And guess what? If I say something to Copilot here, if I type something, I can go back to my computer and actually pick up this conversation in the feed to the right. So you can imagine it's very handy. You are in the train, in the bus, commuting. You are asking questions to Copilot. You get to work, boom, you open your computer and bedding, badang, <laughs> here you go. You have all your recent chats, okay? Super, super cool. So please look for this symbol right here, the little uh, M365 that you can see uh, on the screen a minute ago. And uh, here you go right there and you download the app on your cell phone, okay? So uh, what I want to tell you as well, so when you pay for Copilot, you have those two buttons at the top, so you can search through your emails, etc., just like we just saw, but it also unlocks Copilot in Excel, okay? Uh, I am in Excel right now, my favorite tool, because you know what, I'm a chartered professional accountant and I always go into Excel. But I know lots of people hate Excel, huh? it's complicated. Look at how many buttons that are at the top. It's crazy complicated. And you know what, Microsoft came out with Copilot at the top right. And you can click on the button. Here I have a data set, okay? Welcome to the Piggy Beans Cafe, by the way, the best cafe in Canada. And I have uh, all this data set. As you can see, I have roughly 2000 lines of data. It's sales data, column A are the dates, column B, it's the product that we sell, and column C are the sales amount. And then we have different information there, a typical data set of Excel, right? And then what I want to ask Copilot, I will ask Copilot, you know what? I will click on this pre-built prompt at the right. This is my favorite feature, by the way. I will click on show data inside, okay? So I don't need to type anymore. I have some pre-built prompt and they work uh, pretty well, okay? So Copilot will be analyzing my data, here you go, and Copilot came up with this graph right here. It actually analyzed only A1 to G69. I'm not too sure why it did that. It's because my data is not set as a table, so there was probably a break in my data. So to get the best results in Copilot in Excel, you should transform your data into a table. And how to do that? Basically, 
do select your whole data, click on insert, and then click on table. Okay, this is how I basically get the best results every time, even though it's not a requirement. You will click here, my table as headers. I am on Excel online right now. I will click on OK. And now my data is now structured as a table. And I will run my prompt again because I saw right here that at first Copilot didn't analyze the right data. OK, I will click again, show data inside. It's going to load. There you go. Now it's analyzing my whole section, right? A1 to G179, whatever it's this number. And as you can see, Copilot made me a chart, but it's not that great. Okay. I don't like this. It's a very, uh, you know, it's messy a little bit. So I will click on this other pre-built prompt that I love. It's add all insights to grid. And I think this one normally goes really fast. Don't blink. It will make many, many charts about my data set. So here we go for Copilot in Excel. So just a quick recap, make sure you do the right prompt to get the best result in order to get connected to Copilot, copilot.microsoft.com. And also when you pay, it's going to unlock a mini Google internally and Copilot in PowerPoint, Teams, uh, Outlook, Word and Excel and everything. And uh, by the way, if you want to download uh, my cheat sheet, I made a cheat sheet that was downloaded by more than 2000 people. It's called the Microsoft Copilot cheat sheet. I will put the link in the description below. And if you want to become a real Copilot Pro, please subscribe to my channel and I will catch you in another video.